My name is Amira Dawood. I'm a descendant of a refugee family from Ain Karim Al Quds. I'm an American citizen with Palestinian heritage. Palestine will always live in my heart, and I will one day return to my home. I am determined to never give up on my right. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Saif Abu Dahab, and I'm the descendant of a refugee family from Beit Anan, which is a village in the northwest of Palestine. I'm an American citizen with Palestinian heritage, and Palestine will always be in my heart. And one day, I will return to my village. I'm determined and will never give up on my right. Thank you. My name is Tasneem. I'm the proud granddaughter of refugees from the town of Tarshiha. I'm an American citizen with Palestinian heritage. Palestine has always been a huge part of my identity, and I will return to my village. I believe in the right of return for me and all other Palestinians, and that's a right that we will never give up. My name is Hafsa Habba, and I'm a descendant of a refugee family from the village Beit Lekia. I'm one of the many Palestinian Americans who wish to return to the land of our families and ancestors, but can't. Every day, my love has grown for a place I've never been. And one day, I will return home. Hi, I am AMP Dallas Chapter member. My name is Usal Absad. My family uh, from Lifta, Jerusalem, Palestine. I'm an American citizen with a Palestinian heritage. Palestine will be always in my heart. One day I will return. I determined and I will never give up my rights. Peace. My name is Dawood Asad. I am one of the survivors of the village Deir Yassin, where a horrible massacre took place on 9 April 1948. I never forget about that night, you know, where my grandma, grandmother, 96 years of age, and my brother Omar on her back, two years of age, were killed in cold blood. But what can we say now? Also 27 from my family were shot, were uh, killed. So, uh, but I have faith, and inshallah, God willing, we will return back because Palestine and Jerusalem are actually those problems that are stitched in our hearts, we never forget it. Even our children or grandchildren will liberate it. So um, I have faith. Thank you very much.